great sack right there by Damon Walker. Offensively, Toledo showed balance and precision, dominating the line of scrimmage against one of the nation's best run defenses. Toss, Tate, right side. Tate looking for some room. He's to the five. Tate is into the end zone for the touchdown. And that was a great block leading the way by Jim Stite. And quarterback Ryan Hujak was deadly accurate. Wide open, that's Rossi at the 20, 
He's dropped at the 16-yard line. And it will be fake to Tate. A little dump into the end zone. Touchdown, Rossi. You think maybe we'll do it two times in one ball game, Mark? I can't believe it. Second and three for the Cardinals. And it's a fake handoff to Blair. And he's going for it all. Ball went deep down the field. He's got a man open. And it is incomplete at the 10-yard line. Pass intended for Brent Campbell. Another big play by Clarence Love. That knockdown by quarterback Clarence Love forced Ball State to punt with over six minutes to play. And they never got the ball back. Each way for him. Tate straight up on the counter. Tate's got a first down over midfield into Ball State territory. To love to watch. Right at the line of scrimmage. Bujak sends a man in motion. Ends in tight. Give to Tate. He's got a first down. Tries to break a tackle. Spins forward to the 27-yard line. And the Rockets get the first down and should win this ball game. This one is over as the Rockets spill onto the field. And a standing ovation from the fans here at the Glass Bowl. The final from UT. It's the Rockets 17. Ball State. 14. Toledo's Rockets, Ray, one of only nine undefeated and untied ball clubs in Division 1A. Rockets at 5-0, and 2-0 in the back. Week 6, and back on the road again, this time to Miami of Ohio, in front of a regional cable audience on Prime Sports Channel. The Rockets explode out of the gates. Dwayne Harris at the 9. Harris with some green. Harris to midfield. Dwayne Harris in a foot race. right off the bat from Toledo special teams. Buzak with a straight drop. Corner of the end zone, Brunswick, got it! Exceptional grab, touchdown Toledo. Scott Brunswick, who's been hurt with an ankle for the better part of this year, went up the ladder to pull in the Ryan Huzak toss. Rockets get on the board first. Motion from Spriggs, Huzak a roll right. Looks at Spriggs, looks at Brunswick, guns to the end zone. Outstanding grab, James Spriggs, touchdown Toledo. Later in the second quarter, Coach Gary Pinkle decides to go for it on fourth and two. So long, touchdown Toledo. 30 yards away on fourth and two was Sean Tate. Broke it, broke it big for six. Tate's run gave Toledo a halftime lead. After a Redskin touchdown, the Rockets tallied another six on this spectacular Rossi touchdown catch. Got it into the middle, touchdown! Exceptional grab by Steve Rossi. He's been quiet all day, but the tight end broke off his route, made the adjustment. Buzak hit him right on time. Touchdown, Toledo. But controversy loomed over Jaeger Stadium when this Jamal Bell interception was disallowed due to a holding penalty. Miami would punch it in, and the game would end in a 28-28 tie. Throwing it right into your living room, and they're fighting it off. The alarm to arm action. Well, I don't, I don't know how you call that. The fifth road game in six weeks was against arch rival Bowling Green, and outside linebacker Craig Dews quickly sent momentum Toledo's way. Bujak straight back to pass. Looks, dumps it off to Tate at the 50, 45, Tate 40 to the 35, Tate to the 30, inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line, second and goal. And the give is to the fullback who drives to the goal line and in for the touchdown is Eric Engel. It soon became apparent that the Rockets would dominate the Falcons on both sides of the ball. that tailback was Sean Tate would have a career day. The 5A junior would rewrite the record books on this October afternoon, becoming Toledo's all-time leading rusher. Jack would throw two more touchdown passes to Rossi 
as the Rockets celebrate in large fashion, 35 to 16.
final two contests of the year to get that done. A regional prime audience looked on as Toledo hosted Akron. On the line, a shot at clinching a tie for the title and the Las Vegas Bowl berth. It proved to be Washon Tate's finest hour. Running behind a dominant offensive line, he piled up over 120 yards in the first quarter. The Gallup again can cut. Tate inside the 10. See you later. Touchdown for Sean Tate. And Toledo's Rockets, his 16th 6-point Rocket blast off of 1995. You see Akron and Toledo in the all-time. Calling on the sprint left again. Goes it into traffic. Picked off. Brent Dews on the Rocket INT. Dews inside the 40 down to about the 37-yard line. This young man has had a sensational 1995, his sixth INT of this football season. to wrap up the MAC championship, and they got it. In the I formation, tailback is Tate. Sean Tate has the football at the five and dives close to the goal line, and he's in. Guess who? With Sean Tate, carries ball diving in for the end zone to get that touchdown. 11.57 to go in the third quarter. Who's that back to throw? Got Rossi again over the middle. They trail 2015. Huzak hands off to Tate. He jumps over ankle and into the end zone. There with the triple option and Wilson back to throw. Now he's flushed out by Wilson. He's converged and it will be swarmed under back to the 34 yard line. That's Warren Berkey and Aristotle Wilson doing a great job pinning it down. Tate once again got a great block and he's got a touchdown. Oh, just an awesome block by Eric Engel. A lot of the turn the corner springing. Like I said, that offensive line, Stites, Stites, and Johnson, they just opened up a huge hole. And back to pass. Whoa! Huge uh, play by Marcus Matthews. Now Jamie Johnson will wrap up Kareem Wilson, and that's the end of the football game. This time, the Rocket fans join the party. A simply incredible season had finally ended. One that saw Toledo play all of the preseason favorites on the road and emerge undefeated. One that saw the Rockets break numerous offensive records and lead the nation in turnover margin. In the end, though, it was about one word, one concept. 